Uh, they've, they've done a good job, and they prepare well. And, and Jason, you know, they, he puts together a good game plan. And, you know, you got to give uh, Coach Wyatt a lot of credit for uh, building this. This this offensive and defensive line that we've got and with the depth we got is over a three-year period, and he's brought them together and kept kids in the program. And, uh, you know, he, he, he takes care of them, and, and uh, you know, they play for him. They play hard for him and stuff. And he's rotating, rotating people in and out left and right, and they did a good job. You know, they played well last week, and, you know, our kids saw it, and they, they uh, you know, they didn't back off. They prepared, and they did a good job, and uh, they knew uh, we can't take anybody lightly. We've got to play everybody hard, and uh, they came out and played well right away. We got a little fancy right off on the first drive and, and uh, didn't get something in the end zone, but we had we had, we had had the opportunity to, so, uh, you know, we wanted to take that and show some things, so people got to prepare for a little bit more um, we're a great great group right now um, we're really co we're just working well together um, uh, secondary is a new bunch of new guys um, making great plays making great strides with coach Coniglia um, coach Hoskins has done a, got a lot of great things for us and I have a supreme confidence in this group that we can do big things uh, very excited for the rest of the season um, well it was a safe punt uh, we weren't really supposed to return it um, but it, the punter punted it so low that I thought I had a chance to make a big play for us. Um, I got around the edge and I got a couple big blocks there and uh, my team got me in the end zone, so it was a good play. Well, coach was talking on the sidelines right before that. Uh, I almost got the first one there. He told me to move a little inside of that outside guy and uh, Adam Lytle kind of helped me out on the team. He said, they're squeezing down on him so I should be free and I didn't hesitate and I just went after it and got it. Uh, it's kind of game changing, actually. I mean, everyone, uh, the momentum was on our side after that, and everyone felt good going out there back on defense right away. So uh, it just tells us we got to keep going. I mean, every week there's something we can build on, but uh, our motto is every week we want to get to one and zero. You know, at the be at the beginning of the week we don't worry about two and zero because those games are in the past. You know, so being able to to say, hey, one and zero, let's get to one and zero this week. Let's get to one and zero this week. I think that puts everything in perspective. Like, all right, we only got to worry about now. So being 3-0, I mean, it helps the team a lot. You know, it builds, builds morale and helps us get going. Uh, I think just building confidence. Uh, all week we've harped on the fact that we need to run the ball. We have to be able to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Because the first two weeks, uh, we obviously passed the ball a lot, but we passed the ball well. Uh, you know, when that's happening, it's kind of hard to, to say, all right, let's try to run the ball now. But especially going ahead, we have to be able to run the ball. You know, it's good for our offensive line to build confidence. And uh, I think this game helped our offensive line, helped our team out a lot, you know, being able to say we run the ball well. Actually, I wasn't setting on my block. I was telling Trey to get open because I wanted to throw him the ball. But he just went to go blocks, and it turned out for the better.